Hey everybody, it's Cooper here, and welcome to the fourth part, I think it's the fourth part, of my 100 pickup video. And in this part, I'm only going to be showing you stuff from Orlando. So, in the end of the last video, or close to the end, I'm going to show you some stuff from him. So this whole video is going to be the rest of the stuff from him. And I've got two boxes of stuff to show you. One box is humongous. And one box is a little smaller. So this box, I can't even show you. Um, actually, I can show you. What am I thinking? There it is. It's ridiculously heavy. Um, and I don't know if I mentioned it before, but the reason that I'm doing this in the living room is because all these boxes will not fit in my bedroom right now uh, without them being stacked on top of each other. And it would just be a huge mess. Plus, I'm in the middle of a... a kind of like a room tour rearranging kind of thing and I don't want to give anything away yet so I'm gonna start off by showing you the stuff in here and we're gonna end with the stuff in the smaller box um, so once again they're all NES and N64 games I'd say 99.9 .9 percent of them are missing the instruction manuals so if you have any of them once again please let me know I'm interested <coughs> so I guess I'm just gonna start grabbing stuff out some NES games up first. Nintendo World Cup. NES Play Action Football. Silent Service. Double Dribble. Ice Hockey. Get a little stack here. Alrighty. Tech Mobile. The Rocketeer. Roger Clemens MVP Baseball. Dirty Harry. Asti and Axe. Vegas Dream. Track and Field 2. Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Captain Skyhawk. The Simpsons, Bart vs. the World. The Karate Kid. The Adventures of Bayou Billy. Top Gun. Wheel of Fortune Junior Edition. Baseball Simulator 1, I think it's 1000, but it's 1.000. 1 Oops. Magic Darts. Spy Hunter. Guerrilla War. F-15 Strike Eagle. Town and Country Surf Designs, Thrillers Safari, Road Blasters, Rollerball, WWF WrestleMania, Worm, Journey to the Center of the Earth. Wayne Gretzky Hockey, Loops, that box is kind of damaged up there. Most of the boxes though are in great condition which is very very cool, especially the NES ones. 
Days of Thunder, Family Feud. That one actually looks pretty cool. I love. I like that uh, game show a lot. Pictionary. Not so fun of a game, in my opinion. Super Spike V-Ball. Magic Johnson's Fast Break. And, oh, we still have a lot more to go. Tecmo Baseball. Not even done with the NES games yet. Kid Cool in the Quest for the Seven Wonders of Herb. The Seven Wonder Herbs, actually. Kind of a weird name. Jordan vs. Bird, one on one. Rolling Thunder. Boulder Dash. Laser Invasion. think. Yeah, these are the last of the NES games here. Dino Wars. In this box, at least. Beetlejuice. Thought that one was pretty cool. Crunching and Munching Bigfoot. I think it's just called Bigfoot, though. TN, uh, Town and Country Surf Designs. Wood and Water. Wood and Water Rage, I think is what it says. It's just TNC Surf Designs is, I think, the official title. Uh, championship Bowling. And now we will move into... I guess we'll move into N64. There's also GameCube PS2 in here. So yeah, move into N64 now. First up... ECW Hardcore Evolution. So I've got like four copies of this now, I think. <clears throat> then we have two copies of WCW Nitro. One in much better condition than the other one, so I bet you can guess which one I'm keeping. F1 World Grand Prix. WrestleMania 2000. That box is not in the best shape. Uh, Fox Sports College Hoops 99. NBA Hang Time. And it's going to be really weird for me to say this, or for you guys to hear me say it, but I actually used to love this game when I was a kid. I played it all the time, uh, which is weird, because I usually, the only sports games I really ever like are like, um, like Mario Tennis or Mario Golf or, you know, stuff like that. But NBA Hang Time is really fun, from what I remember. WCW vs. NWO Revenge. A lot of wrestling games. Knockout Kings 2000. Madden 2000. International Track and Field 2000. All Star Baseball 2001. This is a red cartridge, I believe. Which is pretty cool. It's always cool to get the colored cartridges. Madden 2001. Indy Racing 2000. So many 2000 and 2001 games right here. NFL QB Club 2001. Polaris Snow, Polaris, Polaris, however you say it, Snowcross. I've actually never said that word before. That's really weird. Uh, Olympic Hockey 98. MCR, or MRC, which is Multi Racing Championship. NBA Live 99, and NBA Live 2000. Uh, this is really cool to get all these sports games and racing games, because those are the kind of games I don't want to buy off eBay, and it's great to just get them, you know, get them at a great deal like this to fill holes in the collection. FIFA Soccer 64, and the last N64 game in here is In The Zone 99. So, very awesome addition to the collection right there, those are definitely going to help me out. 
Um, actually, there's four more. Didn't even see these. And you're not going to believe what one of them is. Sure, save that one for last. F1 pole position 64. Another Madden 2001. Uh, Wayne Gretzky's 3D Hockey. This is actually going to be a great box upgrade for me because the box I have is in horrible condition. And another ECW Hardcore Evolution. So I don't even know how many copies of that there are now, but that's crazy. <clears throat> There's one cartridge, one N64 cartridge, and I always make it a point not to buy cartridges unless I'm going to sell them because I don't collect cartridge-only games. But this one, I think I'm going to make an exception and try and track down a box of manual for because I love this game so much and I've been wanting it for a long time and that is Milo's Astro Lanes. I played this as a kid, uh, probably like every other kid I rented games from Blockbuster back in the day and that was one of the uh, one of the games that I rented a lot and I really liked it. Um, next up, let me just make sure, okay next up I'll get these out of the way before I start with the the better stuff. Um, got a bunch of uh, empty GameCube cases here that all have artwork and some of them have manuals and inserts and everything. And um, aside from finding the discs for these and completing them, I can use the precautions manuals in there to complete my games. Um, whenever I get a pre whenever I get like an empty GameCube case and I get a new precautions manual, I go through all my GameCube games and I find one that's missing it. And I put it in there. Um, so I'm hoping that once I complete the GameCube collection, which obviously is very far off, that it'll actually be really complete and have all the precautions manuals and anything. But uh, I'm not gonna list these titles off because they're just cases. But I'll go up and you can read them yourself. Nothing too exciting except that one. Mario Tennis is pretty cool to get, even though it's just a case. All right, now I'll show you the one Xbox game that's in here, and that's Bruce Lee Quest for the Dragon, Quest of the Dragon, sorry. That's the only Xbox game in here. And then, I guess I'll just start with GameCube. There's GameCube and PS2 in here. It's mostly GameCube. Let me get back on camera there. Um, most of these are complete. Some of them are missing the manuals. Actually, a lot of them are missing the manuals, but most of them are complete. Um, and there's I barely had any of these, so these are great additions to my GameCube collection. Madden 2005. MLS Extra Time 2002. Tiger Woods 05, Madden 06, The Scorpion King, Rise of the Akkadian, I think, MVP Baseball 2K5, uh, this one's really cool, I was happy to get this, Mega Man Network Transmission, Rave Master, R Racing Evolution, Virtua Striker 2002, Ghost Recon, All Star Baseball 2003. I think this is like one of the only doubles. I think I already had that one. Super Bubble Pop, International Winter Sports 2002, SX Superstar. NFL QB Club 2002, Madden 2002, Samurai Jack The Shadow of Aku, NCAA Football 03, Mystic Heroes, NHL Hits Pro, Aquaman, Legacy of Kane, Blood Omen 2. Batman Vengeance. 
black and bruised. Dr. Muto. MVP Baseball 2004. Aggressive Inline. I used to play this game a lot uh, back when I was a kid when, the, when I first got the GameCube. That was one of the cheapest games you could get, so I, I had it. Project up oh, PS2 games. Uh, Project Eden. There's still more GameCube games, but they're kind of mixed up, so whatever. Project Eden for the PS2. Mobile Light Force 2. Alter Echo. This one actually looks really cool. Nobun Nobun Nobunaga's Ambition Rise to Power. I can't talk. Let me move the camera a little bit. Sorry about that. Ford Mustang, The Legend Lives. NCAA Game Breaker 2004. These are the rest of the PS2 games here, then we'll get back into GameCube. MLB Slugfest 2006, another one's a double. Outlaw Volleyball Remixed. Beach Volleyball Summer Heat. Legend of the Dragon. Tourist Trophy. Win Back 2, Win Back 2 Project Poseidon. The Bigs. NASCAR 06, Total Team Control, and the last PS2 game in here is the Red Star. Back to GameCube. Uh, a lot less sports titles from here on out. Actually, I'll get I'll get these two sports titles out of the way, and that's it. Um, NFL 2K3 and Madden 05. Prince of Persia, The Warrior Within, Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, X-Men Legends 2, Rise of Apocalypse, I think that might be a double. This one's definitely a double. Uh, Metabots Infinity, this one's also a double. Cell Damage, this one's also a double. Vex. Uh, Batman Dark Tomorrow. Space Raiders, Rogue Ops, Catwoman, Rainbow Six Three, Freaky Flyers, Zoo Cube, and One Piece Grand Battle. So that finishes off that box. And now we get into, I mean, that box was obviously amazing, and you guys are completely impressed, um, as am I. <laughs> um, but yeah, tons and tons of boxed NES games. I've already showed you a bunch, but, like, this is just amazing. Um, so many, so many new box games for my collections, for every collection. Every collection is growing because of this video. Uh, except Virtual Boy and Hyperscan, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, everything else is just growing like crazy, and it's awesome. So, finally we get to this box here. And you're going to see in a second why I saved this, saved this for after that huge box. I mean, obviously that huge box had tons of stuff in it, tons of box Nintendo games, but most of them were kind of common. Um, what's in here is rare stuff. So let's dive into this. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, <clears throat> let me try and hide that one really quick. Get uh, these cartridges out of the way first. Some bubble wrap. Now uh, there's four cartridges in here and as part of our deal um, I told Orlando that I would sell these for him and uh, basically just give him the money from them. And there's four cartridges here. There's Ocarina of Time. Mario Party 2, another Mario Party 2, and Mario Party 3. So obviously incredibly popular games, easy to sell. Um, I'm hoping that I can get him about 70-ish dollars for those. <clears throat> Alright, so I guess I'll start off by showing 
And I'll save that one for last. That's that one's pretty cool. Um, I have five NES games here and one N64 game. Like I said, they're all rare and they're all boxed. So very cool. If you have any of the manuals for these, please let me know. I'd like to get these manuals way more than any other ones, obviously. Um, so I'm gonna try and start with the cheapest here and go to the most expensive. Um, I think this is actually the cheapest, and that is. The Adventures of Lolo 3. And obviously, it's kind of a rare game, but boxed, I mean, obviously, it's going to be worth more. Um, I think I checked this one, I think, is going, I mean, the cheapest buy it now, it might not be going for that, but the cheapest buy it now that I saw, I think, was around maybe somewhere between 35 and 55. I don't remember if it was 35 or 55. I think it's one or the other. But so there's that. Next, I think is maybe it's this one, maybe it's the next one. I don't know. Uh, Princess Tomato in the Salad Kingdom. I had never heard of this game until um until this basically. Um but it's actually pretty rare. Um, even the cartridge is kind of rare. I think a box copy is like 65-ish to 80, possibly. And I'm not sure if that one is more expensive or or this one is. I'm not sure which one. But that is Death Race, which um, I mean I think they're pretty close in value. I'm not positive, but I know this is also a, a pretty expensive rare game. Next we have Metal Storm. I I think a copy of this is between 80 and 110 uh, for a boxed one or a complete one. Uh, of course, depending on condition, but uh, the box is in great shape. Unfortunately, every single one of these boxed NES and N64 games has stickers on it from a rental store. So all the NES games have a circular sticker on top a sticker that wraps around the side and a two-day rental sticker on the front. Um, the N64 games aren't as bad. Um, let me grab this one as an example. Um, there's a sticker on the side there and that's the only sticker I actually see on this one but others have a few more but still very very awesome. The last NES game here is actually um, more expensive than the N64 game uh, that I'm showing you right after this one, but I'm more excited about the N64 game. So I figured I'd show you these, keep them with the NES, uh, and then show you that one last. But don't get me wrong, I'm super happy to have this. This is a very cool game, a very awesome addition to my to my boxed NES collection. Um, so without further ado, Mega Man 5 box. Really nice condition, aside from the stickers, um, which is unfortunate, but there it is. Very awesome to have this. Um, I think the cheapest for a box copy that I saw on eBay was like 135 or something. And I know it can range for, you know, obviously it can go somewhere between like 100 and 150 depending on condition and all that. So very awesome. He gave me an excellent deal on those. Like I said, I'm not going to tell you what I paid because it's kind of weird for uh, both parties involved, but it was a great deal. <clears throat> so next up, he actually donated this to me, and I would have been more than happy to pay for it, but he insisted, and um, you know, I kind of feel kind of feel a little bad, but at the same time, I'm not going to turn it down. <laughs> Um, so Orlando, thank you so much for this. This is an amazing addition to my N64 collection, and that is, I would say, the second rarest um, North American N64 game there is, um, and that is International Superstar Soccer 2000. And as you can see, it does have a pretty large sticker on the front here. It's got a sticker on the side here, um, but those are the only two stickers on there, and other than that, it's a little sun faded on the back and everything, but it's actually not crushed or anything. It's in pretty good condition. Um, show you the cartridge. Uh, there it is. 
Like I said, probably the second rarest American N64 game. And I know it's a sports game, but it is pretty rare. And to get a box copy is, you know, pretty rare too. Um, since I've had this, I've been looking on eBay. There hasn't been a box copy that I've seen. So, I mean, your guess is as good as mine is what it's worth. My guess is around a hundred bucks. Um, I'm not positive, but you never know. So, very, very, very awesome addition to my collection. Um, I just showed you in one of the earlier parts of this 100th pickup video the StarCraft 64 that I picked up, and with International Superstar Soccer 2000, that's two pretty expensive rare games to check off the list. Um, I do still need a manual for this, but that can come later. I'm just super happy to have the, the game in box. And thank you so much, Orlando, uh, for donating this to me. I really appreciate it. So that'll be going in a box protector right after this video and uh, up on the shelf. So that is it for this part of the special 100th pickup video or 100 game finds video, whatever I call them. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And I think there's going to be two more parts, there might have to be three um, because of the amount of stuff but I don't want to give it away just yet but the stuff in the next video or the, the stuff from here on for however many more parts I have all comes from one person and I've talked about it a lot I haven't, I haven't told really anybody aside from my really close friends um, who I got the stuff from but you might be able to guess if you're pretty big in the YouTube gaming community. Um, if you know, please do not comment below. Uh, I kind of do want to keep it a secret. Uh, just kind of keep your guess in your head and see if you're right when I post the videos. But um, yeah, the stuff, the stuff coming up, I can tell you, is going to be very, very, very cool. So definitely stay tuned. I know I say that at the end of all these, but uh, honestly, you don't want to really miss this. So. That's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.